Now turning our focus now to Lok Sabha elections with phase 4 over and done with 70% of Lok Sabha seats have completed the polling process. 379 Lok Sabha seats have in fact seen witnessed elections so far. The voter turnout, if we talk about phase 4 now, is at 62.9%. This being the first phase in which we've seen the voter turnout actually improving in comparison to 2019. Of course, this is provisional data at the moment. The final turnout data will come in from the Election Commission later. But nonetheless, a positive sign as far as voter turnouts are concerned. The key focus today was on Andhra and Telangana. Out of the 96 seats which went to polls today, 42 were from these two states alone. With the polling being completed today, elections have wrapped up for all 130 seats in the south. Now, polling is also complete in all 29 Lok Sabha seats in Madhya Pradesh. There was also simultaneous elections as far as assembly elections are concerned in Andhra and Odisha. All 175 seats in Andhra Pradesh voted today for the assembly polls. And in Odisha, there was the first phase of assembly elections with 28 uh, seats in uh, uh, witnessing voting today. Now, we'll turn our focus to our uh, specific states that we are looking at in this bulletin. First, to Bengal, where multiple incidents of violence were reported. In Bengal, eight seats were voting in the state today, but the most prominent incident of violence was be reported in Bordhaman, Durgapur, Lok Sabha constituency, where BJP and TMC workers had a face-off, a physical, a physical clash, in fact, was seen over there. In fact, my colleague, so colleague Saurabh Gupta was on the ground and captured the incident and he joins me now from Bordhaman, Durgapur. Saurabh, pole violence is nothing new to Bengal, but you were caught in the middle of this one. Tell us what you saw. <clears throat> well, this was a sensitive booth and uh, the BJP candidate uh, Dilip Ghosh, uh, who is contesting from Bordhaman Durgapur against Kirti Azad of the Trinamool Congress, had shared a few very cordial moments uh, you know, earlier in the day when both of them came together, they met each other uh, while uh, crossing paths and uh, shook hands and even exchanged a hug. Uh, but things went south post that when supporters clashed uh, earlier in the day. And then uh, when we arrived at the Kalna Gate area, Dilip Ghosh was on his way to a sensitive booth. Now, as he entered the narrow bylanes of that sensitive booth and that sensitive area, uh, there were slogans of go back. And, uh, you know, these were presumably uh, Trinamool supporters uh, because they were uh, raising slogans uh, that uh, seemed to be uh, from there. But obviously, uh, Dilip Ghosh continued and then of course the supporters got more aggressive and then what we saw later was that there was some kind of uh, you know sloganeering and when the convoy was leaving at that time of course there was some stone pelting and an attack with a stick and in that of course uh, several security forces uh, you know cars were damaged but also some media cars were damaged and uh, one of the security men uh, you know received an injury on his head because of a stone uh, he had to uh, take shelter in the car that we were traveling in and then of course a camera person also was hit by a stone in the leg but you know uh, things uh, managed to be uh, you know the, the cars made a dash uh, towards uh, safer places from there and uh, uh, unfortunately the day ended on that note uh, violent note but otherwise uh, you know there were sporadic incidents throughout the day uh, in the evening again from Durgapur there were some incidents that were reported uh, but in other parts of the uh, you know uh, seats for example Asansol was pretty peaceful uh, Bahrampur, Murshidabad uh, you know uh, have all voted eight seats have voted today uh, these are eight important seats these are seats where there's a contest it's not like there's a one-sided result in these seats these are seats where there's a contest and in that sense uh, these seem to be seats that were hard fought but obviously a familiar picture associated with Bengal elections that is pictures of violence seem to have made a comeback in the fourth phase uh, the last three phases were largely peaceful there were sporadic incidents but largely peaceful but these images of violence seem to have made a comeback in the fourth phase one hopes that they do not repeat themselves in the 5th, 6th and 7th phase as Bengal votes in all 7 phases of this Lok Sabha election coming from the north, starting from the north and all the way down south. That's right, the most prominent episode of poll violence being reported in this phase. Uh, Saurabh Gupta there, take care of yourself and your crew. Thank you so much for joining us on the broadcast. And also, shift turning our focus to Odisha, which is one of the states today which saw simultaneous Lok Sabha as well as state elections. Voting was held today in four Lok Sabha seats in the state and 28 assembly constituencies. Now, BJD 
has been ruling the state for 24 years, but there are several people of the opinion that CM Naveen Patnayak is facing his toughest contest this time around. That too, from his former ally, the BJP. In fact, BJP is making a bit to upstage BJD in the state after the alliance talks failed. We've seen Prime Minister Modi himself taking a dig at BJD, saying June 4th will be the party's expiry date in Odisha. To that, Naveen Patnaik had retorted, calling it BJP's daydreaming. There are also reports of BJD facing internal tussle over Naveen Patnaik's protégé, bureaucrat-turned-neta VK Pandyan, who is being seen as an outsider. Ratnadeep joins me from Khurda in Odisha. And uh, Ratnadeep, it's largely being seen as a BJP versus BJD fight this time around. Which way is the wind blowing? What did the voters' mood on ground tell you? Absolutely. P perhaps Naveen Patnaik faces one of the toughest uh, poll battle in his political career as his uh, government completes uh, 25 uh, years in power. Remember, now the BJP, which has been once an ally, is posing a political challenge. And these four seats which went to poll, we were at Bharampur, which is one seat where there is a key fight between two turn courts. Pradeep Panigrahi, who was a, a, a former minister of the BJD, once a close aide of Navin Patnayak. He is the BJP candidate there and uh, Bhrigu uh, Baksipatra, who was the top leader of the BJP, was, is the BJD candidate. So there are a lot of leaders which we, who have switched sides uh, uh, even in uh, you know, the state polls. Remember, uh, there are one, uh, 47 seats out of which 28 seats have gone to polls. And the mood that we saw among the voters, despite uh, you know, temperatures rising, we did see uh, participation, good participation from the voters, the large turnout of women and perhaps women uh, are seen as a strong vote bank of the BJD. Whether the BJP, PM Modi's call for change has been able to erode that uh, vote uh, bank is something that we'll have to watch for when the results come in. But with this phase, perhaps in uh, Odisha, what has happened is that this fight between, in one side, Naveen Patnaik's uh, words of development, his right. you know, 24 guarantees that he has uh, given in his manifesto, to uh, BJP's high-pitch campaign and this call for change. This battle has started and this will continue for another three phases as the state will complete uh, polling to right. all its 21 Lok Sabha seats and 147 seats. BJP would definitely like to increase its tally in Odisha and also within the state assembly. Now one has mm -hmm. to wait and watch to see if Naveen Patnayak and VK Pandian and the rest of the BJD are able to hold on to their fortress or not. Ratnadeep there, appreciate you joining us on the broadcast. With that, we'll slip into a short break, but more election updates coming up on the other side, including those shocking incidents being reported uh, due at, from polling booths in Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. Don't go anywhere.